Have you just bought a Microsoft 365 and want to learn more about it? Have you had a little search and landed on this here video? Uh, well, you're in a pretty good place if Microsoft 365 knowledge is what you're after. Hello, you lovely lot, and welcome to Expert Zone, where today we're going to have a look at Microsoft 365 on Windows 11 and give you some great tips and tricks on how you can get the best out of your subscription. And frankly, what are some of the best things you can do on Windows 11? To start with, it's probably a good idea to look at what Microsoft 365 is. It's a subscription service from Microsoft that supports your life by giving you access to a multitude of different things across a plethora of devices. That's five devices per person. It can cover yourself with just a one user personal license or the whole family with a Microsoft 365 family license, which can be shared with up to six people. Now, as far as what's included, you of course get the office suite, uh, including Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, which we'll cover more in a bit. You also gain access to Access. <laughs> access to Access. And Publisher, which allows you to create databases and design publications like posters and menus, respectively. As well as that, you get the Outlook desktop app, which gives you an ad-free experience, protection from viruses and cyber criminals with attachment scanning, and allows you to manage and sync your messages, calendars, and to-do lists. Speaking of security, you can also get the Microsoft Defender app. Not to be confused with Microsoft Security, which is part of every Windows device and how it keeps you safe. The new Microsoft Defender app is downloadable from the Microsoft Store and gives you a view of the device you are on and a view of all the other devices you have Defender installed on. It's also available on your phone, but we can talk about that in another video. Now that's the basics covered, let's deep dive into what makes Microsoft so good on Windows 11. Now normally, we would start with OneDrive, Thing is though, we've done a, a video on that already, uh, which you can click on in the description below to check out. So consider this bit a um, shallow dive. Though I wouldn't really recommend diving into shallow water or anything. It probably won't end well. OneDrive, it gives you one terabyte cloud storage per person and allows you to easily back up your folders and collaborate across your office apps. I could go on, but like I say, there's a whole video about it, so check it out after this one. So what else do you get? Well, the nice thing about Microsoft 365 on Windows 11 is that apps are pre-installed. Word, Excel, and PowerPoint, for example, are all there for you to sign straight into your Microsoft account without having to go and download things. So they're there for you immediately without having to wait for them. The apps will also update automatically as long as you have an internet connection. Sweet! Now let's go through those Office apps, starting with probably the most well-known one, Word. Word has been a staple of computing since its release in 1983 and has kept up with the times with new features added for each new Office release, two of which I use every day to support me in my work. I am dyslexic and I have something called visual stress disorder. Basically, if I try and read a book or something where there's a lot of words together, I'll have a migraine in about 20 minutes and I'll have to go and take a nap. So I've had to find many different ways of working throughout my life, from school through uni and to work nowadays. And Microsoft 365 has become incredibly important to that, especially with these two features. The first of which is Dictate. This feature allows somebody to talk to their device and words will type up what they have said. It is found in your home tab on the top ribbon on the right hand side. And this is fantastic for many reasons. 
for someone like me where spelling is rather difficult, it slows down my production of documents quite drastically and Dictate helps me speed things up and makes things much easier for me. And on the whole, I think people generally can talk faster than they can type, so it could help speed you up as well. It's also great if typing in general is not an option for you. And it's not just limited to English either, allowing the translation of speech into text for 15 languages with another 36 languages in preview at time of this recording. Dictate is how I am able to write out things as I do within my job. And it could be massively helpful for you or someone you care for as well. Unfortunately, what it doesn't do is help me read the words that I've written with my voice. Luckily, Word has me covered there as well. If you search for immersive reader, you'll get a couple of options which could help you or someone you know access reading more easily. From being able to change the column width, text spacing, breaking words into syllables, and focusing on a set number of lines. The two I personally use most are page color and read aloud. Being able to change the page color can really aid somebody with dyslexia, where the main colors that could aid them are the variants of pink, blue, green, or yellow, which are all presets and ready to use within Immersive Reader. Personally, for me, it's a pink one. It's not just for dyslexics this could be helpful to. It could help reduce the amount of stress on your eyes while reading. I've been working with the public and retail professional for over six years now, and the vast majority of people I have shown this feature to find changing the page color makes it easier for them to read as well. So give it a go. Go and see if there is another color that would make life easier for you. The other feature I use within Immersive Reader is Read Aloud. This will turn any text into an audio output, which means I don't even have to read, I can just listen and take in all the information that I need. It's also super helpful for checking back your work as it's very easy to hear if there is a mistake in what is written. A final feature I want to show you in Word comes into play if you have a touchscreen and pen enabled device, like a Surface Pro 8, and that's the Action Pen. The Action Pen allows you to edit a device with natural gestures, like we would do on pen and paper. Cross a word out to delete it, circle a word to select it, or draw a little arrow to add a word in. This is fabulous for somebody who is making or annotating a piece of work or someone who just enjoys a pen on paper experience. So there's some fantastic features you can do with Word on Windows 11. Now it's time for my personal favorite office app, PowerPoint. Now as part of my role, I use PowerPoint to create gamified training decks and there are several features built in that can help anyone create a more engaging and aesthetic presentation. Let's start with the aesthetics. You have a, a couple of options within premium templates when you first open up PowerPoint or design ideas when in said PowerPoint to help you with formatting and design. It's not what I'm gonna show you today though. Today, I want to show you 3D models and the easiest way to get great looking transitions. To get a 3D model into your presentation, head up to the insert tab on your ribbon and find the 3D models button. This will give you two options. Select a file from device or from a stock model. The easiest way for a professional model is to select the stock model option which gives you a vast array of 3D models and animated models for multiple subjects, like this little guy. If none of these are to your taste though, thanks to being on Windows 11, you can create your own in Paint 3D. It will give you the tools to create whatever model you want, and once saved to your device, you can then import it into your PowerPoint. Neat. 
For the easiest way to create good transition that I mentioned earlier, all you need to do is select your slide and go up to transitions and select morph. This will automatically create a smooth transition between slides as it will use objects that are on corresponding slides to help create this effect. This can be changed to words and characters under effect options under the transitions tab on the right hand side of your ribbon. So no matter what you have on your slide, it will transition beautifully. Now, when it comes down to a presentation, you can have the best PowerPoint in the world, but if the presenter is not engaging, it's likely to be less enjoyable as an experience. PowerPoint can help you with this as well though. Presenting is a skill and it can be improved through practice and feedback. For this, you have Rehearse with Coach, which can be found in the slideshow tab of your ribbon. PowerPoint will then give you support in real time with key areas of presenting, such as filler words and potentially sensitive phrases. At the end of your practice run, you will get a report showing you timings, your pacing, and any other areas where you can improve, helping you to become a better presenter and more confident when the time comes. Something that is really important to think about when doing a presentation is making sure it is accessible to as many people as possible. PowerPoint helps cover you for this as well with live subtitles. This is great for anyone in the crowd who is hard of hearing or even sit at the back of the room and struggling to hear you. It allows them to read along and keep up with you without you having to think about anything else as PowerPoint will automatically translate what you have said into subtitles on your presentation. It can even translate your language into another one to help break down any language barriers that there may be. So there's a way to help you make an aesthetically pleasing presentation and help you with the presenting of it. So uh, what about Excel? What features can help me with Excel? I hear you shout in anger. Well, there's no need to be angry anymore. That's next. Excel is a magical beast that can do amazing things if you know what you're doing. So it would be nice to know if there was a way to make Excel easy, right? Well, look no further as a premium template can help you tame said beastie. Just open up Excel, select more templates and search for a template that will benefit you. For example, a personal monthly budget plan, an expenses sheet or a calendar that can be shared and edited by those closest to you. So you all know when Uncle Jimmy's birthday party is and or suddenly come down with a tummy ache. You can also easily also fill cells where there is a discernible pattern like the days of the week, for example, by using the tiny little cross that appears at the bottom right of the selected cells you want to continue the pattern on. One quick final tip for Excel, if you have a table of contents that needs to be put into some sort of visual, such as a graph, then select the whole table and simply press F11 and a graph will be produced for you. How easy is that? Well, there you have it. A bunch of features that could help you with both work and life. And that's just some of them. The great thing about Microsoft 365 on Windows 11 is that you get access to absolutely everything. Premium templates, sorted web apps, just use the Edge browser. Family options, there's a link for that. There's also more to come with the current insider build of Windows integrating Microsoft 365 options and settings more and more. I know we might be a bit biased here, but frankly, Microsoft 365 works best on Windows 11. Yeah, I said it. And that's it. 
If you have found anything in this video helpful, then please let us know. Drop a like and tell us what you found from it in the comments. Also, let us know what you'd like to learn about Microsoft 365. You never know, we might just make a video on it. Please consider subscribing, uh, that would be uh, very nice of you. Thank you very much for watching and I'll uh, see you later on.